my loves. Today's video, as you can see, is a little bit more dramatic. I just think it works really great on brown eyes, and I mixed it with some bronze tones and a little bit of, a tiny bit of that coral tone in the uh, inner part of the brow bone, but I just thought it was such a pretty look for the springtime. I hope you love the look, and if you wanna see how I created it, just keep watching. First up, I partnered with Shiseido to show you the Synchro Skin Glow Luminizing Fluid Foundation. I'm actually mixing number four and five and I'm going to be using the Shiseido brush. You guys, this has officially become my go-to foundation lately. It has the most gorgeous luminous finish, but it has just like a serum-like texture and it adapts to your skin so it's super comfortable and lightweight. It has a natural glowing finish, but it's not heavy because it's formulated with hyaluronic acid. My skin loves that. And it blurs out everything on my skin for an even finish. It's really one of the most impressive foundations I've tried in a long time. And when I'm wearing it, I don't have to worry about checking myself in the mirror because it practically becomes my skin. And we're gonna keep it going with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer in Medium. Like I said, because the foundation is so lightweight and luminous, I wanna keep the uh, concealer lightweight too. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and down the center of my face and use that same Shiseido brush to blend it out for just a really nice natural finish. To contour, I'm using something new. This is the Sculpt and Glow palette by Natasha Denona. I'm using only the cream contour color, and I'm going in with um, with just a smaller, uh, dense brush. And just as I'm applying, I'm also blending, and it's just creating a nice, solid contour. But it just maintains a nice, natural finish. And just the color of it, it's not orange, it's not red, it's perfect. And to contour my nose, I'm just using a smaller synthetic brush. And for this look, I'm using very little powder. I'm gonna take the Cover FX setting powder. I don't want to hide that beautiful finish of the foundation, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit under my eyes where the concealer was. And for my blush, I'm gonna use this gorgeous color by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Ecstasy. It's the perfect peachy tone that's gonna complement the purple in my eyes. And for a little bit of highlight, I'm gonna take the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. This whole look is all about glowing, luminous skin, so this is a perfect highlighter to complement that foundation. Now that the skin is done, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So the palette that I'm using is by Natasha Denona. It's the number 12 palette. And the first color that I'm gonna go in with is called Golden Flesh. It's a nice golden bronzy color that I'm just going to apply all over my lids inner corner to outer corner up until the crease. Next, I'm taking a blending brush and dipping into Sienna, which is just a darker shimmery bronze shade. And I'm just going to start contouring my, um, my crease a little bit, just at the outer corner and then blending it into the inner corner as well. And now for the fun part, I'm dipping into Smoky Plum, this nice purple shade. I'm gonna go over basically the same areas as I applied the bronze shade, outer corner of my crease, making sure to blend and create that uh, wing shape almost. Uh, I just wanna make sure that this purple shade shows up on the top lash line. So I'm really just focusing that purple shade at the outer corner of my eyes. For the inner part of my brow bone, I'm gonna take this color by ColourPop. This is actually their Super Shock Cheek color in uh, the K-pop flushed color. And it's just a nice corally shade that I wanna add to the inner corner and it is kind of a cream to powder finish so it's uh, easy to blend in. So I'm just using a smaller brush to apply that again right at the inner part inside the brow bone. And now for more purple, I'm taking the Highliner Gel Crayon by Marc Jacobs. I'm applying this into my waterline first so I get that nice purple shade. But uh, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna really work this into the lower lash line, not passing uh, the middle of my eye. I'm not gonna go all the way to the inner corner, but I am going to extend it past the outer corner and create sort of a reverse wing. And then I'm gonna take uh, an eyeshadow brush and just really smoke that out and blend it out. I'm also going to take a little bit of Electric Violet from the Natasha Denona palette and just add it over this color. It's just gonna add a little bit more of that uh, electric purple shade. And then I'm going back to Golden Flesh and just applying that into the inner part of my bottom lash line. 
And now to define my eyeline, I'm gonna take the Jouer Cream Eyeliner in matte black, and this is the scary part. I'm going to apply this into the inner rim of my top lash line. I don't want a really obvious eyeliner for this look, so I'm just going to apply this into that inner part of my eye first, and then adding a little bit to the top lash line. But again, I'm gonna take a smudge brush and just really smoke that out and make it look romantic. And now to prep my lashes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Spider Effect Mascara. This on its own gives my lashes so much life, so much volume and length, but I still want to add a little bit more to this look and make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm taking this Faux Mink Style by Ardell. It is synthetic and the number is 811. I'm going to actually cut this in half and use the shorter end at the outer corner of my lashes. It's really gonna give it that nice length, just again at the outer corner, but it's not gonna really look like I have lashes on. So just carefully lowering that right onto my lash line. And for a look like this, I definitely want my eyebrows a little bit thicker, so I'm going to use the Brow Precise Pencil from Maybelline and the uh, Brow Volumizer. Um, first, I'm gonna fill in a little bit just a little bit thicker. And this is a lighter color than my eyebrows, so it's not gonna look too crazy that they're, they're thicker. And then once I'm done filling them in, I'm gonna take the brow volumizer in Auburn, which again is a lighter color than my brows. This is going to set my brows and again, make them just slightly lighter. And now for the lip combo, I'm using three products. Sorry, <laughs> but I had to use these to get the right nude. First, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude uh, just to contour my lips a little bit. Then I'm going in with the Tarte Lipstick in Skinny Dip. And the reason I'm not stopping here is because this is actually too light for my complexion. So in order to make this glossy and slightly darker, I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, and the color is WeHo. Um, again, this is just gonna gloss it up and just make it the appropriate nude shade for my complexion. So that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed my use of a little bit of color. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video.